It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And if you've ever wondered what it feels like to swallow a pineapple whole. Oh. Ow. You know, don't you? Yeah. I mean, this is basically <laughs> the audio equivalent of that. Okay. Yikes. Uh-huh. It's What's on Your Mind, where we cram our exotic prickly thoughts into your ear holes and find out what each member of the morning show has been thinking about lately. Starting with Brooke. Brooke. What's on your mind? Well, I uh, apparently posted my most controversial social media post I've ever done. Uh-oh. Uh, really? I lost uh, hundreds of followers, and all I was trying to do was, like, something for good. Oh, what did you do? What happened? I don't know if you guys saw it, but I posted a picture of my armpit. Ew. Oh, <laughs> gross. And listen. I'm unfollowing I you. forgot <laughs> to shave for a couple weeks. That happened. You forgot for weeks? weeks? I mean, days, maybe. You, Girl, you have two kids and a job. And tell me you don't forget <laughs> that type of stuff. You Sorry, chose I'll back not off. to so, shave, bro. Listen. So listen. Then I'm like, well, this is a perfect opportunity. I'm, it's already growing out. I've always wanted to see if we could get a no shave, like, November, but for women. Mm-hmm. But if we do, I have heard you mention that. Yeah, in the past. but if we do it in November, it doesn't matter because nobody can see. So. Yeah, right. You're all bundled and, up. And yeah. it's for the dudes. The bros do no shave. And I'm just talking about your armpits, right? So I'm like, okay, who's on board? Look at my armpit. Maybe we could all do it in July, and we'll raise money for a cause. Like, yeah. <laughs> and how'd that go for you, bro? <laughs> It didn't go well. I got unfollowed. There's a couple of supporters, but it was pretty lukewarm. Yeah. And then I think, I've been thinking about this. I think it was my timing. What do you mean? Yeah, I agree. I think if I would have started this movement at the beginning of the pandemic when we were all in locked down, everyone would have been on board. But now that it's like hot girl summer and all these ladies are out here trying to like vax and and wax, the opposite of what you're doing. And it makes sense (laughs) because the only support I got was from moms. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like totally. married moms. Like there was no hot girls that were. In the- <laughs> and you need the hot girls to have a good movement. In the middle sure. of hot girl summer, Brooke is trying hairy girl summer. I'm yeah. not trying. <laughs> not working. Yeah. So I don't know. Should it's I tough. give up or should I just push forward and uh, continue it? I would. I would put it on hiatus. Yeah, postpone it. Yeah. Till when? Though? Maybe till uh, winter. Never. Till, I don't know. Need more hair. Yeah, you not, know? I think you keep going with it, Brooke. Okay. <laughs> what el- What else on your body shouldn't you shave? I mean. We don't oh, need to go crazy here. Okay. You know? oh, okay. I'm just thinking the whole month of July. So okay, that'll, I guess, that'll just be that one body part. Then the next body part will. The next month we'll do a different body part. Yeah, for I, didn't do it. I need some spokespeople. So if anyone wants to be oh. the next spokesperson for my, I, I can't decide if I want to call it like. I don't know. We'll, uh-huh. we'll call it Harry Girl Summer. Oh, um, Brooke, you're not going to get people yeah. on board. Cricket's on the text board right <laughs> now. Brooke Fox Fox is no. where you need to DM, uh, DM me. All okay? right. Good luck with that, Brooke. Okay, yeah, good luck. Jose, oh. what's been on your mind? Well, I just moved over the weekend into my new place. It's official. I have a new apartment. Woohoo! You're and... moving? What? I have not heard you mention once. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of things I love. First and most important right now, I have AC. Oh. I also yeah. have a balcony. So is this just your moment to brag about all the new no, things you have? No, I yeah. have a rooftop. Okay. But the Ooh, best cool. thing that I have by far is a trash chute. Oh, because I've yeah. always had to pull trash out and, and yank it to the curb. You guys know what I did. Instead of even doing that, I just leave it in my kitchen. And Ew. next thing you know, I have seven trash bags yeah, ready to go. Was, oh, Things are smelly. Jeff has seen a, it many a time. I have a feeling that's still going to happen. No, not at all. No, seriously, <laughs> this trash is it's amazing. I, I went to the, yeah. Anyway, How far away is it from your door? Oh, it's like, uh, it's like down the hall to the left. So it's like a... a one minute walk, not even from my door. See, well, that's a pretty far me. walk <laughs> for Jose. I think not this is all. like a new relationship <laughs> no. for Jose. Yeah. Yeah. He's all into the trash. He's in the honeymoon stage. You guys have no idea. I swept 12 times. I put the trash. Yes. Like, this 12. place is uh-huh. unbelievable, and yeah. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, okay. But here's the thing I'm on the sixth floor, so it's good to have the trash chute because I don't have to go down. Well, mm-hmm. after I unpacked, I'm like uh, breaking down all my empty boxes and I'm putting them down the trash oh, chute. No. Another oh. one, another one. Uh-huh. After my 10th box, yeah. I look up and I read a giant sign oh, no. in yeah. bold letters that says never, ever, ever put boxes in the trash yeah. chute. Right. Yeah, because It clogs recycling. it up. I live yeah. in a big <laughs> building, so there's many people sharing this trash chute. And it's also not trash, it's recycling. It's recycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh-huh. well, there's both. There's a recycle oh, chute okay, and a trash okay. chute. Oh, no, okay. absolutely. Sorry, I should have said that. So I'm putting on the recycle shoot but it's like never ever put any ever and so oh. i am like 
I'm the only one that moved. Like, I know I had a reserve and everything. Yeah, you're going to get hit for yeah. this. I'm worried I'm going to get kicked out in my first month. Oh, no, they won't kick you out. They'll just fine you. Oh, right. great. Oh, yeah. Well, so I already am not following oh. instructions. I'm trying to clean, and I'm failing it. Yeah. And you it's know, funny because now you can't use the trash chute anyway. You're going to have the, exactly. boxes you have all the trash in your apartment <laughs> no matter what. Them. You've done oh, it to yourself. Well there, done, Isaiah. Yeah, there we go. The social media coordinator, Alexis, tell us what's been on your mind. I've been thinking how fun it would be to date someone with a boat over summer. Yeah. Don't so it has like, every oh, single girl yeah, ever. Exactly. Okay. So basic. No, and yeah, I think I figured duh. out how though, guys. Okay, you got the Okay. Yes. So I bought a paddleboard recently. Cool. I can't afford a boat. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I took it out for the first time to a lake the other day. But this lake had boats on it. Ooh. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> one of the only lakes that you'll find boats on. <laughs> no, but they had to go slow because there were so many paddle boarders around. Uh-huh. So I figured out I could talk to the people on their boats while, while going I by. was on my paddle board. <laughs> yeah, so I started having conversations with the people them while I paddled by. And did you get any invites? Not yet, not okay. yet. But my roommate got a paddleboard, and we're gonna go on in on this together. Uh oh. Uh-oh. What, what were you saying to these people on boats while you were on your Started paddleboard? Started with hi, like, oh, what time is it? You know, things like that. And then okay. I realized they could hear me, and oh. I was like, oh, we got an in. A lot of people my age, mm. some big boats that could fit my paddleboard on board. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh. Sure. So you I don't you. The the key to finding a dude with a boat is hanging out at the end of a dock. Yeah. Well, I'll do that, and I'm gonna go out to the boats themselves, though. Okay. Yeah, you're <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna yeah. take myself to the boats. Hey, you guys got any drinks? You're just paddling, <laughs> chasing exactly. boats down. She's gonna have a rope. She's gonna lasso yeah. the boat. <laughs> I will. I'll bring snacks. I'll fake drown. I'll do what okay. it takes. She's okay. playing a game. To Whoops, got the... your engine. All you have to do is offer some money for gas. Any boat person ever will be cool with that. Really? I have to give money. Yeah. What? what? It's really expensive. Pro- no. There don't listen to Brian. I have a better way. Anyways, catch me on the boat sometimes. Girls don't do that. <laughs> Jeffrey, what's on your mind? Well, we've had record-breaking heat in our area over the last few days. Yes. Yeah. And if you don't have central AC like Jose does in yeah. his yeah. brand new apartment, yeah. then you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Well, it was around 87 degrees inside my house the oh, other yeah. day. Oh, yeah, same. No. Until suddenly, at around 1 p.m., boom. What? Power that? goes down. No. Oh, I thought a robot showed up to your house. With that <laughs> the robot that powers like, the electricity Wally? in my house died. Oh, no. So power's out. My fans and my portable air conditioner <gasps> no. don't work anymore. Oh. And immediately you can feel the heat going yeah. up. It goes up 90 degrees, 94 no degrees, way, 98 degrees what? inside that is, the house. That's scary, dude. At, at this point, I had two choices. One, pack up leave in yeah. my car. Yeah, 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 go. Or nope. two, put an ad on Craigslist for a sauna party. <laughs> One day only. But you didn't, have any, didn't have any Wi-Fi. So I couldn't oh, post no. it. That's about my so instead I decided I, I had to get out. I left and I went back to the only place in the world that makes me feel safe. Where? I'm scared. The local gas station. Oh, uh, why are you hanging out there? Why wouldn't you go to a Do restaurant with air seen? conditioning? Yeah. No, a mall. The gas oh, station hell. the gas station people know me. Uh, so I yeah. went there, bought myself a couple 40s. I hung out outside. <laughs> I met nice. some more interesting people from the last time that I went and hung out yeah. at the gas he station. He is a gas station life coach. It's yeah. a long story. Are you just like preparing for when you lose this job and yeah. you just need to <laughs> be with your peeps? At least I'm going to have a head start on having new friends, bro. I don't know what you're going to be doing. <laughs> but there at the gas station, we can oh, all no. be miserable together. Uh, and then a few hours later, after hanging out at the gas station, went home, power was back on. Wow. Wow. House still still hotter oh, than a pair yeah. of sweatpants full of barbecue, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. It, it was back on, and my life is still back to being miserable again. Oh, oh good. Do you need any new friends? I do. I have a lot of new friends over at the gas station. Okay. Aww. I'll go commiserate with my bros over there anytime okay. that I'm in trouble. They always have your back. That's true friendship. We're going to work on some other plans for yeah. you off the air, okay? <laughs> no, no. I love my gas station okay. peeps. Okay. Yeah, I, I support you, brother. Text okay. in to 78592. <laughs> Tell us what's been on your mind.